we have a new face of Mars that was actually taken by the Spirit rover recently in the uh, Bonneville crater, and I'll rotate it here. It seems to have a cone-headed shape. This is actually the shape and size of a human head, but it has that cone-headed configuration. Now, there is a possibility that advanced cone-headed Martians landed on Earth and created the Egyptian Empire. Why do I say that? Well, we have a depiction here of Osiris, the god of the underworld, always depicted wearing a cone-headed headpiece, possibly concealing a cone head. Possibly he's an advanced alien from Mars. Now, we go to 3000 B.C., and we have Menace, the first pharaoh who united Upper and Lower Egypt, always depicted with a cone-headed headpiece. And then we go to about 1490 B.C., and Nefertiti, the queen of the Nile, always depicted with this type of headpiece, possibly hiding a cone head. Now, she had six daughters. Each had a cone head. Here are two of them. Now, we know that these were formed when the infants were born. Boards were placed around their heads to impart this cone-headed configuration. The idea, possibly, that the original ETs were cone-headed, such as Osiris, that Menace and and um, the queen were actually halflings, half human, half alien, and then they were honoring their Martian cone-headed ancestors by imparting the cone head to the daughters. An intriguing possibility. Now let's look at one example of an alien from Mars. In the 1954 flick, Devil Girl from Mars, starring Hazel Court and Patricia Laughlin as Naya, the Martian girl. Whoa, 